Well, good morning, everybody, and welcome back. We're going to be discussing this wonderful block right here. That one. That one right there. The structure block. I know it's an older block, but I think it's an underutilized block because nobody really knows how to use it. I'm going to show you how. Pretty simple once you get past all the little steps. Okay, let's say you built this beautiful structure here, this dirt house, and you wanted to... Excuse me, sir, what are you doing in there? Never mind. He can be part of our demonstration. If you built this and you want to move this to another world, let's say you're building a map or something like that, you need to save this structure because you don't have the time to rebuild it because it's so beautiful. So you would put down your structure block right here. The only way to get this structure block, by the way, is to use the give command. And that would be slash give at player or your name structure block. Now what you do is you set it down, you right click it. So there are the three screens here. You have the load screen then you have your corner screen and your save screen. And then it goes all the way back. So we're going to go to save first because we want to save it. And we call it, oops, let's go up in there and say dirt because it is a dirt house. And our structure size, we know it's a five by five by four because I've already counted it out. It's a five by four, because it's four high, and five. Now we want to include entities, so it will actually copy our friend in there. We hit save, and we're like, oh, we're off. How did that happen? Let's go back into it. So we're on our save screen still. Now, structure blocks, they automatically put their box in the positive direction. So we know we need to move it. The relative position of the box is a one by one. And see, when you hit done, it actually moves it over positive one and positive one. So now we check and we say, okay, we are all in there. That's a beautiful structure. So we're going to go back here and say, okay, it's called dirt. It's relative position is here. It's structure size is this. We are saving entities and we hit save. And you see down there it says structure saved as Minecraft docker colon dirt. Now this guy was inside, so he has been copied also. Let's see what else is in here. Hmm, that's a nice little house. It's got torches, it's got some of these vines, and a nice bed. It's a beautiful house. Now that we have saved it, you can see the little outline there. We want to put it back. We right click again. Now we are on the load screen. So we want to load Minecraft dirt. You can just put dirt. If we load it right now, it'll put it on top. So we want to, of course, jump it over and we want to include entities on we hit the load button it will put a a marker where it's going to be we say oh that's good if we don't want it like that let's say we want to move it 90 degrees don't hit load but you hit done see it moved 90 degrees back this way done and there you go. Once you're happy with your position, like if you wanted it to be higher, let's say you wanted it three blocks up in the air, hit done, and there's your box, and that's where it would load. But our guy would probably fall to his death. So we're going to just put it right here. And we know that's right, so we're going to hit load. And boop, let's open the door. There's our friend. But what are we missing? We are missing our torches. Look at that. Our torches are not there because these torches are technically in this block space. So you just have to make sure that if you have anything on the outside, if you had shutters or something, you have to push it out one more block. Now, that was just using the relative position to make the box. There's another marker, which is called the corner bar block. So we go here, 
go to corner and our structure name we're going to call it d for dirt oh no let's let's actually call it dirt let's call it dirt two okay now each corner block has to be named the same thing as you're going to name your structure block so we say corner dirt two okay done you have to go to the opposite corner and boop and we're going to right click that one and go to corner and call it all right we type in dirt two and done so now you can put your structure block anywhere let's put it there and our structure name we want to go back to save and we're going to go and we're going to type in dirt two now we want of course entities on and we hit the detect button size detected so it goes from that corner to this corner and it detects it me personally i like the just relative position stuff because it's less blocks to place so then we go okay dirt two and it's telling us exactly where and we go so then we hit on this side we collude the entities save Boop. now we have a dirt two block this does not have our guy in here it does have his book what does this book say oh subscribe to rabbit oh it's a great book if we were to let's say boop, load let's say dirt two we just called it and our relative position is one and one and one include entities and load that looks great hit load again and it's back so let's destroy this block we're gonna kick, boop, destroy this one place down a new one now we're going to go to the save and we're going to call this dirt three we know we want to save by one by one by one and oh gotta put our structure size in too because we're going to do it that way so we want to this other bit button we want to keep glue the entities of course we don't want to detect it because we don't have corn blocks but this block right here show invisible blocks on so we hit save dirt three. Oh, it saved it but here you can see these blocks right here see all these blocks these are the air blocks and they're all in here so if you get your structure void block which you get it the same way you get a structure block the give command it is nowhere in the creative inventory so if you were to take your structure block void block and turn them into red blocks if I can actually click on that one, I'm trying to, there it is. So let's look, let's look at these right here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't want to eat. I don't want to eat. Why can't I click on that one? All right, and you can see we've changed a bunch of them from the big blues to the little ones. So when you save it, so we've gone here to dirt three. All these are the same. We're showing our invisible blocks so we can see our structure blocks and we're gonna hit save so minecraft dirt 3 is saved here let's say if you are placing your structure down into a an area that has already blocks in it instead of placing it on top so we're going to let's say load dirt 3 okay we are going to hit load oh we got to fix our, uh, our relative position. There we go. We go. We say, okay, we don't want to hit load now because it will load it. We could be wrong. We hit done. It moves it over. Okay. You can see it is one higher. So this is like if you were placing it into a cave or something, like you built a cave. So we, okay, we're good here. And we hit load. Boop. And where we had those small blocks it did not overwrite the existing blocks so you can see back here where the big blue box were those were air blocks and it replaced the stone with air blocks 
But when you had the small blocks, where we put four in there and all along this front edge, it did not replace them. So that is what, what the uh, structure void block does. It's, you can't see it, but it's there. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video on the structure block, and I hope you learned something. And if you did, give me a like, and if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.